Hey everyone, you are watching Technology Well Here. In this tutorial, I will show you everything step by step. Real demonstrations how to downgrade or roll back iOS on any iPhone device. Either you have deliberately updated or mistakenly you have updated with latest beta version or latest iOS. Now you would like to roll backs. Don't worry, in this tutorial, I will show you also that unsigned IPS to how it is special and this tool on any iPhone device. If you are the planning to especially bypass or terminate or wipe out permanently any cloud activation lock links, either it is lock owner, network carrier, or etc. So now, firstly, we will check it out manually that is your iPhone is recommending to a downgrade or not, and what iOS is currently functioning. So tap on a setting. Setting to of course we would have to come in a general. So let's say tap on a general. In general there, see about below there, there is a special one. Software update options. Just we will tap on it and here is a sync that up to date. We don't have any special and the opportunity to adopt. But if you would like to update, then let's see. If we click on a beta versions, then let's see. If we go for here, then we can see here that it has just started to check check it out now. Now it's a that that especially you can update that is a 26.2 beta 2. So this can be, but we don't have opportunity to downgrade. So how do I downgrade? So first and foremost, we will go for now Renage Administration that is a 3U tool because this is not a possible by virtue of this easily itself iPhone. So now we will open a especially that is a 3U tool. Let it open and upon of course the further we go for here. So now it's opening here guys. Yes, let it uh, minimize it. Now the V cam on here, just we will click on a especially toolbox Let's see in a toolbox what we are going to see here. We will click on a spacely here, a smart flash options. Let's go for a spacely here. Now, see here. Here is the options to spacely. Let me fill it. Now, here we can see we have a lot of opportunity that the 26.2 beta 3, 26.2 beta 2. So, it is recommending, but right now that is. We know that 26 point beta 1. So now, how do I basically? Here, if you would like to come with this basically signed iOS, then let's check it out. How can I verify of these things? We have a signed iOS that we can come on a basically that 26.1 that is green signals, of course, till that we can downgrade. But unsigned IPSW, anyone out of them, of course, that we can have it. How it is possible? So first and foremost, guys, we will have to go for here. Download iOS. So here is a 8.5. So we would like to become with this. We would like to become with the 17 because we have to uh, gel break also. So just we will start to download. So now we can see here it has started to download. After downloading, especially she here. It's a taking uh, scarcely I'm 10 minutes to do especially. I will show you with the demo here. Now, it's a downloading. After completing the downloads, what we will do, just simply we will come on a especially here on a toolbox. In toolbox, we have a especially one option that is a stop update, especially iOS. We will click on here. I send this file to a description. So, now it has C cam here directly. So we have changed the profile of this especially. So now we have got in an opportunity to come with that. So now see example of here. Just we will go for OK. And what we will do, we will come here. A smart flash to easy flash. Easy flash to here is options to here. See. Without losing any data, you would like to come with then you will have to select a retain user data. So all the apps and application would be retained, especially on this device, particularly. Or if you would like to lose complete erase, then come with the especially quick flash mode and recovery or fixed flash. So here we will come with the especially retain user data. We will select especially this one. So this one after downloading here, you will have an opportunity that it will be here. 
on a few a few clicks then there will be options to open a folder so when we tap on it that's especially ipsw will be like that here right now it's downloading should be well keep by especially dragging on a desktop or copy to a paste on the desktop and the phone now see here one opportunity that i would like to tell you here simply we will come in a select a firmware and we will try to import so here is especially some firmware that i kept here so let me have suppose here we would like to come with this piece like me uh, ios that is a 16.7 points in this one so just we will prefer to import so no verification has been taken and directly we will what we will do guys here just simply we will come with the retain to a flash so here don't select the especially fix a battery during the especially fix battery also during flash and we will hit this one so automatically especially guys this would be especially automatically installed and after installing of course we will directly everything is facially your iphones will be rebooted and we will be directly switched to as facially ios on 18 right now we don't want to come especially with the space line 16.7 we would like to come with the space line right now on a 17 ios so taking a little bit times to appreciate that so video will be a lengthy that's why i'm sorry for ads but uh, now let it complete downloads and then so by a simple study that I show you, you will have to execute and you will be able to downgrade. Right? You would like to come especially on this device that way. Seven point seven. So thank you for staying the tail end of this tutorial. Further any any query, of course, the how the query will look comment. So blindly drop the query. Drop the question in the comments box. So that's really my nice to reply your query. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share of this content because it really supports the channel and also inspire me to make it such as informative tutorial guys. So thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.